Hey guys, Ryan Wright is sitting in the middle today. And Jerry is at your screen right, left? Right, right, yeah. right. Screen right. Screen and right. I'm screen left. Brandy's my name. That's right. So we're gonna check out the, tr uh, the movie clip actually called Alive for Jurassic World starring Chris Pratt and Ron Howard's daughter. Oh shit. Chris. Just went and made a new dinosaur? Yeah, it's uh, kind of what we do here. The exhibit opens to the public in three weeks. Mr. Mizrani wanted me to consult with you. You want to consult here or in my bungalow? Oh, shit. <laughs> a little funny. We'd like you to evaluate the paddock for vulnerabilities. Why me? I guess Mr. Mizrani thinks since you're able to control the raptors. See, it's all about control with you. I don't control the raptors, it's a relationship. It's based on mutual respect. That's why you and I never had a second date. Excuse me, I never wanted a Who second date. Who prints out an itinerary for a night out? I'm an organized person. Well, what kind of a diet doesn't allow tequila? All of them, actually. And what kind of a man shows up to a date in board shorts? Well, Central America, it's hot. Okay, okay, can we just focus on the asset, please? The asset? Look, I get it. You're in charge out here, you gotta make a lot of tough decisions. It's probably easier to pretend these animals are just numbers on a spreadsheet. But they're not. They're alive. I'm fully aware they're alive. You might have made them in a test tube, but they don't know that. They're thinking, I gotta eat. I gotta hunt. I got it. <laughs> you can relate to at least one of those things, right? <laughs> I like him. I like him a lot. There's all that character development. I want to be just like him. <laughs> your character development scene. I'm kind of not sure what to take from that. I know exactly who these two people are. <laughs> no, yeah. One side of me goes, I know exactly who these two people are. I am on board to watch them go through danger, yes. But the other side is like, that seemed a little cheesy. And yeah, pretty corny at times, and they kind of seem like character archetypes. Like they seem, yeah. Like, well, yeah, this was the scene. They seem very took Hollywood characters. Oh, yeah. yeah. oh, here's their relationship. Yeah, and here's her personality type, and here's his personality type. And they're gonna get together in the end. Yeah, we used we went on one date. And, okay, yeah, the romantic <laughs> chemistry just had to throw that in there. Didn't yeah, they? a uh, lot of like weird exposition. Her short hair makes her look like she's forty five though. Well, maybe she's supposed to be. She's pretty hot for 45, then. <laughs> I mean, being 45 like doesn't preclude Dallas hotness. 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 I like Bryce Dallas Howard. She is true. pretty cute. And she's a good actress, supposedly. Although she was in like, the worst rated movie of all time, like Lady in the Water. And Terminator Salvation. She's great at picking movies. So, <laughs> with Chris Pratt, though, he is always entertaining to watch, no matter what mm -hmm. you're watching him in. He, I thought he stole the show in, in um, this scene. Yeah. <laughs> For sure. Five year engagement was actually the first thing I saw of him. He's just come such a long way since then. <laughs> yeah. But five year engagement, he, he wasn't even promoted on the trailers, but I thought he was like the best thing from that film. I always think he's great to watch. I love him in Guardians. I love him in Parks and Rec. And he seems like he's having fun with some cliche Hollywood lines right now. Mm -hmm. I guess so, yeah. I mean, it's like if this scene was all they released, it wouldn't make me more excited about this movie. Like, I'm, I'm excited about Jurassic Park because I know what it is. And I've right. seen the other, like, Trailers. This is probably why they it's haven't a been really promoting stock scene. That's like, probably why they haven't been promoting character too much. And I yeah. mean, that's not exactly what you go to a Jurassic Park movie for. Like it's you know. But sure. Part One had great character though. So true. Yeah, it's one of those movies Gosh. that has distinct characters and it has enough character because everything is sort of in real time. My favorite moment from the first Jurassic Park is when Jeff Goldblum and uh, the guy, old yeah. white guy with white, white, yeah, the guy <laughs> by Richard Colonel Attenborough, Sanders. yeah, <laughs> Colonel Sanders, right? And then they're having the debate at the table of why this is wrong and why this is okay. They're going back and oh, forth, yeah. and it seems like such a realistic conversation based off the specific philosophies of these characters. Well, that's the thing is I wish modern movies like this would do that a bit more. You know, you didn't have like the most fleshed out characters, but you would know who characters were just based on what they would say in situations, just mm -hmm. on their philosophies. And I feel like nowadays we get a lot of this scene where it's like, okay, we're gonna take a break to have our characters 
explicitly discuss their past <laughs> yeah. or it's like you know we don't necessarily need to do that i you think know? that's so true like currently i think movies have a lot of exposition as opposed to just allowing them to be the character like who they ever, whoever they are yes yeah, like people like in real life you don't stop all the time to be like our relationship history like, <laughs> sometimes you can develop your characters just by letting us hear how they feel about things and what their mm -hmm. philosophies are instead of being like Here's our past! Every time I see one of these clips of Jurassic World, I'm always like, why the fuck did they make a hybrid dinosaur? And then her first line is, isn't that what we do? <laughs> and I was like, wait, what? Is it? I, you guys brought, bringing back dinosaurs to life, like cloning them is one thing, but making a hybrid is a whole other situation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Idiot. That's why the park goes <laughs> into trouble because of you. <laughs> Fucking 45 year old Bryce Dallas Howard. Oh shit. Anyway, guys, if you're new to the channel, yeah. you can subscribe to The Real Rejects. Co creator of The Real Rejects has a playlist called Reasons to Jerry. Yeah. Check that shit out. Brandy Price channel, check it out too. A lot of fun stuff film related over there. And you can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. We talk about our personal life problems as much as possible. Yeah, tell totally. That's I tend I to go on rants about celebrities and then about um, issues with my girlfriend. And it's, it's really, it's really bad, really bad stuff that happens. It's really dark. <laughs> yeah, it's really dark. But follow me, you know, if you're ever feeling depressed and you want to get more depressed, <laughs> or I'm your guy. Or inversely, if you want to feel better about your problems. <laughs> <laughs> this is the real rejects. All right, guys, come on, screenshot time.